All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Full Buddy Cast Presents Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Cole Street Brewery, 1627, or Cole Street, Enumclaw, Washington, 98022. Plug that in your phone. Go down. Take take a hat. Go have a beer. Go watch some games. They got some TVs now. Sports is on like 24-7. Several, several TVs. And uh, maybe catch the playoffs this weekend. Saturday playoffs. So... Get down there, have a beer, and watch some of that. Or the Monday night game, Eagles versus the Seahawks. Uh, like a 17-year beating to the Eagles. It's going to end. I'm on the Eagles side of this one because I know I, I can. I, I know reality. Credit to me for that. Also go to Bordeaux Wine Bar. Have a drink there as well. Uh, uh, both places, take yourself in, get a little discount. Go to Mazatlan in Enumclaw. Say hi to Andy. Get a discount there as well. Got a cough drop in my mouth, so it's rattling around. We've got one of the greatest guys that I know. Unfortunately, he couldn't come, so we've got Craig Bentley on the mic. That was a that was a very good intro. I appreciate that. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> Hello. And, and we also Hello. got his he's got his Hello. brother. Hello. Corey Bentley on the mic. No, no, I'm not doing that. He no. he he has not talked to me or sent me any texts in like several days. I have no idea if he's coming. Is at he this alive? point, at this point, I don't care. That he's alive? No, no. <laughs> if he comes, I do care if he's alive. I have to sometimes I have to position myself where I'm looking at uh, Corey so I can. But here, there, I might as well position myself to look at you. Yeah, and I refuse to sit over in that chair. So that's good. Yeah. Out of protest. Yes, absolutely. I haven't heard anything from him either. Uh, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing today? Good. All right. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. <laughs> had uh, We had our Vegas trip last week. Got to, uh, we had the kids, uh, you know, kind of last year we surprised them with a Vegas trip. This year we saw, you know, let them know right away. <clears throat> and then, uh, man, just had the RSVP cough, been coughing everywhere all over the place everyone's got it have you got it yet no not even a little bit no you're getting it tonight awesome yeah glad i'm here yeah you're welcome <laughs> uh we it was pretty fun <coughs> in Vegas. oh man <laughs> <coughs> dude going on airplanes is the worst because you're just trying to hold it in you know everyone's staring at you i just instead of chain you know like, like chain smoking i'm just Chain cough drops just numb in my throat as much as I possibly can. It's horrible. Yeah, there's like a I don't know. It's it's weird because even I've never really had a problem on planes, and uh, you know, obviously I rode planes when you had to wear a mask. But <clears throat> it's crazy now. Even if you get a little tickle in your throat and you don't have like water or something, yeah. Because I'm not usually one that carries a whole bunch of stuff on the plane with me. So I don't have like a big bottle of water sitting with me. Yes. So if they haven't came yet. You don't seem like the man that does that. (laughs) If they haven't came yet to give me like my water, if I want, and I have a tickle in my throat, it drives me nuts because I know everybody's going to be listening if I start coughing. Yeah. And then you have to say something afterwards like, oh, gosh, my my throat's so dry right now. (laughs) In reality, you're just like running 103 temperature. You're just dying. Like, Oh, gosh. Man, this little smoke is really a dry. I was saying that in the casino everywhere I went. Oh, man, the smoke in here is really uh, uh, dry. It's hit my throat. In reality, I've been <laughs> coughing for like four weeks straight. What's was, your... It was a good trip, though? It was a great trip. Got to run into one of the coolest guys that I know. And I, here's... You'll appreciate this, I think. Hopefully. I appreciate everything. So, you know, so we'll go over my trip a little bit later if we if we do it was fun we did, well i'll just do it real quick you know we get in there uh wednesday night thursday we go to old town in the morning we have wendy's denny's i always mess this up we, we... <coughs> denny's right as you walk in fremont go to denny's yeah exactly i sat there and ate by myself last time i was there hung over <laughs> or just nope just by myself i didn't want to hang out with anybody that morning what'd you order <laughs> I don't know. Like, you get the grand slam. <laughs> no, I just cause like when you walk in on the far right. Back, yes, I was back in one of those tales just by myself, just looking like you lost. You, you, like I was just alone. Your loner. wife's mad at you. Yes, because you, you lost everything last night. Um. Yeah, that's where we ate, and then hit up the toy toy shop next door. 
we have the sports memorabilia place as well. Some of those sports memorabilia places, I think they just kind of like hope you don't know what's what. Or maybe they're just used to people going in there and just buying it or perhaps haggling down. Either way, I was just like, I'm out of here. Or people are hammered when they go in there. Yeah, and just like, oh, Jerry Rice autograph. Yeah, seven fifty, sure. <laughs> um, and then so then we went to uh, after that we went back to the pool. Pool was heated, so it was like sixty three degrees, but the pool was heated at an eighty two, so it was very nice. Got to go in there. Kids went in there mostly. Um, and then uh, that night, we went to Excalibur, watched the Christmas-themed Tournament of Kings, the the jousting medieval, you know, you, you eat the the Cornish hen or whatever they call it, and uh, with your hands. And, and then uh, Friday, we went to the arcade, and we had two suites with the joining room, so that was pretty nice. And then uh, so the kids just kind of basically wanted to hang back. Everyone got the, pretty much their own TVs, but they, they were all kind of watching the same thing. It was like Impractical Jokers marathon on TBS, like non-stop. Every, everywhere you looked, it was Impractical Jokers. So then uh, <clears throat> Saturday, our last day, we were, we checked out. We're walking around, doing some shopping, go to get some you know, little knick-knack things, hit up the candy store. <clears throat> and then uh, I hear a... And it's Cowboy Christmas, so there's cowboys everywhere. Wranglers butts driving people's nuts. You could see their nuts, too, that some of these things are so tight. You had cowboy hats, everything. Bandanas, the works. You you had fake cowboys, real cowboys. But we had... I hear a... I'm standing out in front of one of the shops waiting for one of my kids to get back. and No way! And it's Morgandy. Morgany Roberts, Morgany Mills, Morgany Mills Roberts, whatever you want to call her. And then Jamie was there too. Patreon, your coworker, friend of friends, great dude. Um, and he was with his buddy. But it was like such like a shock to kind of like run into someone. And then and then like you kind of like I, I, I want to catch up. And then I think Josh was getting introduced to me. So sorry, sorry, Josh. Hopefully he wasn't the Sage Hills guy. Um, because Sage Hills has at the moment moved on from us, which is understandable because I haven't had a chance to get out there in the time I was able to try to go there. Some things came up. So, um, thank you, Sage Hills. Anyway, Jamie, uh, got up with him, got a picture with him. And then he kind of asked like, Hey, where's, you know, we're, we're moving on. Where's the next, uh, where's the casino floor? Tell them to go down the escalators. And, and so then we go down the ele- escalators as well later, like 10 minutes later. And I'm like, as I'm going down, I'm like, I know I would bet a million dollars. I know where Jamie, like what machine he's playing on. Sure enough, it was the NFL new slot machine where you can choose your team. And I walked around the corner and there's just, there's there's like a pod of three. He's on one of them, playing as playing for the C, as the Seahawks, and uh, I wish I would have bet someone a million dollars. So, but it was good. Great seeing Jamie. Good dude. Thank you for the patronage. Kind of want him on here at some point. I was kind of thinking about doing that now. Maybe we can bring him on. He'd come on. We could talk about Cowboy Christmas <laughs> and what that looks like. Because I mean, he goes. He went to Garth Brooks. I'll try to. I'll try to send you a picture Monday. I'm hanging out with him Monday. Where are you guys going? Game. Oh, that's right. I will be at the game with Jamie on Monday night. Together. Yes. Are you going to try and walk down to the wherever the, they're tailgating for the Eagles people? Uh, I've, I've seen a lot of different Stabots, so I'm not sure. We'll we'll see how that goes. Are you uh, what like what's your are you a Jersey guy? Yeah. What jersey do you have of a current player right now? I do not have a current player. Is it like Cunningham? I have a Cunningham jersey. Who else you got? Reggie White. That's those are great classics. I uh I'm not huge into um current player jerseys. Why? Is it you're afraid they're gonna get traded or No, I've just I'm always more about because uh, first of all, I don't wear 
jerseys like everybody does. Or I don't wear them a ton. How about that? I don't wear them out normally just because. Right. So if I'm going to do something, I'll go to a game or like I'm going to the game, I'm going to wear a jersey, right? Something like that. Um, I've just never been a new guy, I guess. I don't know. Like a new like, guy? Well, a new a new jersey guy. Like I just mm. I don't go out and buy jerseys like everybody I, I, like a Hertz jersey for instance, right? But you but what if someone <laughs> gifted that to you? Yeah, that'd be different. I'd wear it. And do you think Hertz is going to be at some, because he's like for for instance for me, I'm always afraid someone's going to get traded um or it's going to go south. Like you would have never thought Wilson you bought a Wilson jersey, you thought he'd be there for a while, which he was. But you also never thought it would go south. Um, where now you're like, do I really want to wear like a throwback Wilson jersey? Like, do I want to like, and when will that be cool again? Will that be five years, 10 years, 20 years? Like, I'm sure, I don't know how Peyton Manning went down. It'd be great to have another one of our co-hosts here that would <laughs> be able to talk about that. Um, but like, he, I'm sure Peyton Manning is still beloved in Indianapolis. Oh, 100%. But how did he get to the to the Broncos? Was it because he just got injured and they were bringing in Andrew Luck? And so then he, they just kind of said, have a great thanks for all your work yeah. and all your help. And That's exactly how it went. Cut him? Yeah. No trade? No trade. He, and, he, was, he went and signed with Denver as he wanted to. And so then it was just like no big deal for, for Peyton. Like, yeah, he under, but he, he, I've seen interviews with Peyton, and he completely understood the position that the Colts were in. Because when they did kind of decide to move on from him, realistically, they didn't know if he was ever going to play again. Was that his neck where he yes. got injured and yep. then he got the, infused infusion yeah. or whatever it was? There was there was actually concern that he would never be able to play again. So he understood that from a business point of view, and I, he said it numerous times. He he. Loves Israel and the way that the organization handled it, and he has no nothing wrong with the way the Colts did that. So then, yeah, so so there it's a little different. I don't know about Patriots and Brady. I don't know about you know they wear Brady jerseys still. I'm sure they do. The guy brought him a million freaking Super Bowls, but he kind of went on. He got moved on, but that was kind of a Belichick decision. It sounded like so it really wasn't Brady, but Wilson. It was like <clears throat> we traded. We got a bunch of stuff for wilson but i think everyone is also kind of tired of him as well and uh and so then and then we rooted against him hard against the broncos especially the first meeting together um monday night football i think it was and anyway so so yeah so i i, I would feel weird about that too i guess because you don't know with hurts right I think I think he's gonna be there long term. I do, but again, we demand three hundred million or something like that. Yeah, I mean it's it's just it's just my personal preference. Yeah, you know I'd rather have like I do have other Eagles stuff that says Eagles on it. I got Eagles hoodies that don't have any numbers on right, it. Right, you know right. stuff like that because I'm an Eagles fan. Um, but yeah, I've had Reggie White, I've had Cunningham, I had Dawkins. Dawkins, what a great. Um, I actually the last the on, the one and only time I went to a uh, the Seahawks game was what three years ago now when they played Philly or four years ago now whatever it was. Um, the only time at the time I didn't have my Cunningham jersey and I had a Reggie White jersey which was white. Yeah, and I didn't I didn't particularly care to wear it to the right. So I actually borrowed a jersey from Brandon. Oh. Um, before, and before he became before a, he became a Dallas Cowboys fan, right? Um, and it was McNair. Oh, nice. Or not McNair, McNabb. McNabb. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that was Steve, bad. Steve McNair, the Tennessee <laughs> yes, Titans quarterback. Yeah. Um, pretty interesting choice. It, so it was a McNabb jersey, which again, I I would wear that all the time, and I got actually a lot of compliments from other people. So would you get? Would you go uh, and get a McNabb jersey? Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem doing it. Uh, I'll line them all up. I'll get a Jaworski jersey. McNabb, Vic, I got Cunningham already, and then somebody get me Hurts. I'll wear all the quarterbacks. So, so speaking of jerseys, um, on one of the episodes, right when Joey and I first started, like it was probably like we were probably about twenty episodes in, and I'm playing Madden football, and uh, and I unlocked. Um, I always want to say Tuyas Sopo, but it's not Tuyas Sopo. And now I, I've gone blank. I can see his face too. Who was our middle linebacker? Who's great? 
he in fact he, they they made him a legendary like person, a ninety nine ranked. We're talking about Seahawks. Seahawks. Wagner, that's on the team now. No, 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 no. This is a this is like he was he was on the Super Bowl run, um, with us when we when we played the Steelers. Uh, it, it's uh, gosh dang, I can I can uh, I can see his I can see his face and everything. Um, I'm not gonna cut this. By the way, this this is just showing you how bad of a Seahawks fan I can be. Sometimes. Yeah, I'm not a Seahawks fan, so I don't know that um, trivia. Middle linebacker, but he's his his jerseys everywhere. Um, years ago, years ago, year uh, years ago. Okay, years ago. Tatupu. Yes, Lofa. Yeah. Thank you. It's, That's from a non Seahawks fan yeah, pulling that out. It's really good. It popped up right when, <laughs> like, my Google popped up right when you. Uh, so, so he had, so he had Tatupu. He has, he had his phone number. He calls him. Joey calls uh, Lofa, and puts him on speakerphone, and he's like, "Hey, bro, what's up?" And I think, I, so Joey's done this in the past. He he called Hutchinson, put him on speakerphone. None of them want to be on the podcast though, but. Tupu said he would be, but also I feel like Joey was like, "This is when this is when we didn't even have the table like we have now. We didn't have the room so much. We had the little thing over there, but uh, so he there you know he's made some calls in the past, and, and I've got to hear like on speakerphone some pretty cool names. Um, Trufant, I think he called Trufant as well. I mean, it's just pretty cool stuff uh, for me." As a huge Seahawks fan, they didn't know who Lofa Tatupu's Jeez. name was. But anyway, <coughs> so, uh, so he, he's got Tutupu on speakerphone in my living room as I'm playing Madden, and I'm and I'm Tutupu on you know I got him on my team, and uh, and Joey's like, dude. I'm looking at you right now. My buddy's got you unlocked on the Seahawks. Da, 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 da. He's playing as you. You're at 99, man. You're at 99, bro. 99. Now, this is after probably a couple drinks after recording where Joey repeats himself like 80 times. No way. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't even know I was in that game yet. I didn't know that was right now. That's awesome. You know, and that was cool. And so then we were, so then Joey at that point, we, oh, so then Tupu goes, oh, you got a podcast? Because Joey, like, like, who's your buddy? And oh, I do a podcast with them. Oh, you got a podcast? Yeah, you want to be on it sometime? Yeah, man, absolutely. So I'd already thought up my, my questions I was going to ask him. Cause I, cause we had MK Bruce on, MK, uh, Bruce Doe or whatever. Uh, he's in Maple Valley. Great dude. We've had him on. He played. I think he played. Uh, well, I know he played for the Cougars, and, and then he also played for like uh, I don't know, the Falcons or something like that. I'm not going to look it up, but uh, played played some played some serious ball four or five years in the league or something like that. And uh, anyway, uh, I kind of roasted him when he was on because it seemed like he created his own Wikipedia page, and so I was like, dude, like. And I showed kind of Joey, and so Joey's like, "Yeah, we're gonna bust him. We're gonna get him when he gets when he comes in here." And so we so we had that episode out there, but we were like, "Yeah, like, oh wow, he this person knew like your favorite color in like elementary school. Wow, this must be a really big fan, or you created your own Wikipedia page." And so that's kind of I I think it's funny. I always did that. It's always a thrill to make fun of people that are bigger and stronger and kill you. Uh, it was always a thrill of mine being on a school bus when I was a kid doing that. You know, I was like a sec- second grader, third grader. But when I was asked to Tupu, this is all to say, I was going to ask him, what does it feel like to have the largest Goodwill uh, jersey sales in the history of the Seattle Seahawks? Cause, because people still will wear to Tupu jerseys. And you could go to Goodwill. I guarantee you guys could go to Goodwill today. And and walk in there and you'll find like three or four to two poo jerseys or a Hasselbeck as well. Hassel, Hasselbeck's catching up jerseys on the on the rack. Was there a question for me? No, there wasn't. <laughs> I just want to tell you that story. I appreciate that. All right, how's you do? How are you doing in the fantasy football playoffs? Are you guys in? Do you guys start now? Does it start last this week? This week. This week starts. Is I it made two round uh, or one round. <clears throat> well, is it two games or one game? Three. It's three games. So, I made it 
two, two out of my three leagues, I'm in the playoffs. Okay. Uh, the one league that matters. That's what we, that's what we call our... Do you guys call that... No. Okay. I'm just talking like it's the big league. It's, yeah. Yes. And uh, we implemented a thing two years ago. And it's and uh, it screwed me the very first year. And I'm the one that implemented this rule. I got voted in. So first place gets a buy. One buy. Yeah. Like they do in the NFL now. Yeah. Okay. We did that. This, okay. Keep going. Then the next four teams, so five get into the playoffs. Okay. The next four teams, the very first week, which is this week coming up. Yeah. It's head to head. Yeah. All four teams. Oh. Low, low score. Out. Out. And then also gets you your seating two, three, and four. Yes. Based on the points. Smart. Okay. Right? Okay. So it screwed me two years ago. When I implement, I was a very. I implemented this rule. I finished in second place in the league, oh, and I w- ended no. up being out. Right, this year, oh. going in, I finished third in the league, second most points in the league. Yes, I have Justin Herbert and Keenan Allen that got me this far. Both out. I'm gonna get screwed this week. I can already feel it. Yeah, I mean, even last week was so bad with all the buys for the Bills players and stuff. But man, yeah, you've got a tough. So who's your backup quarterback? I I went and picked. I have Nick Mullins. I have three quarterbacks on my roster that I haven't decided who to start yet. Is one of them Nick Mullins? No. Oh, okay. Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, Matthew Stafford. Okay. And Joe Flacco. <laughs> Dude, that is like that's tough. And for a for, for a, a do or die playoff game. Yes. What's I mean the boom the okay so Stafford could boom. Yep. He's got a chance to boom, and he could mid bust. Uh, who was the first one? Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence could big boom, but he's against. But he could Baltimore. also big bust and too. He's against Baltimore, and he's got a high. He's dealing with a high ankle sprain. Oh. Maybe it seemed like he was kind of like. And do you really, do you really go all in on Joe Flacco? Joe Flacco. I mean, is, Cleveland did. Cleveland's going Cleveland, Super Bowl. With Joe Flacco, dude. Did you see his his contract <laughs> yes. structure? Yes. I mean, you might want to ride with him. <laughs> Because that guy is p- playing for for retirement at this point. Like he's like, I just got a deal that could definitely pay me money even more so than I already had. But I mean, like, dude, that was. I mean, yeah, he gets like what two million if he wins the Super Bowl. Yeah. On top of the other stuff that he could purchase or that he could get, win AFC one million, win wild card like two hundred fifty thousand, win regular playoff five hundred thousand, like. Win each game. What is it? Seventy five thousand yep. per win or something like that. Yeah, it's insane. I would ride that. You know what? We'll see. I haven't. I have. I honestly have not decided yet. It's, and this is the this one is that a game. This is a game. Yes, this is the run that really matters to me. <clears throat> Who's your wide receiver that you have to kind of deal with with, with Allen out? Oh well, I can either go start another running back because it's a it's yeah. A, or uh, and who's that? Well, so my running backs are Barkley, okay, Camara, great game last game, Camara, great game last game, um, maybe two games ago, Pacheco, which yeah, and then also um, mine's going blank, Jacksonville, Etienne. Oh, dude, how, how many can you start? Well, I'm probably gonna end up starting three of them. Yeah, get out, Pacheco. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I, Pacheco's gone, yeah. but and then uh, the only other receivers I have. That I could start because I'm starting CD Lamb, obviously, even though he's a cowboy. He's 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> um he's pretty pretty I don't yeah. know if you guys heard him before. Yeah, he's he's pretty decent. Pretty decent guy. So uh and then I got uh what the hell else do I got? Well, Allen's gonna be out. So I'll probably start Waddle, who's been uh, yeah. Waddle Waddle's turned into me uh, who who does who is he like? Uh gosh. He's kinda like what team am I thinking of right now where it's like, dude, he maybe it's the Seahawks, possibly, where it's like Metcalf, Metcalf is like Hill, yeah. and then Lockett. He's like, you don't know if you're going to get a great game out of him or a terrible game out no, of him. No, so that's that. And then I did pick up Odell a couple weeks ago just because he's starting to heat up, but I don't know. Odell's looking good, yeah, for sure. Dude, football right now, it's like... I'll tell you, I, I, before you go yeah. on, I'm going to tell you what's going to... If, if I... Even if I just pick people to get me through, what's going to get me the win I feel this week? I'm all in on Eagles defense against the Seahawks <laughs> Monday night so I can yell every time we get a sack. Yeah. 
scream at the top of your, top of your lungs. With the other Seahawks fans, yeah, but I'm yelling for fantasy. Um, I am in. So I'm in. I cut down just like Corey did. I I, I didn't do a full buddy cast league this this year. Um, I still stayed in Seth Pullman's league. I'm in the playoffs there. I'm in the league that matters for us. I'm in the playoffs there, ranked ranked first. Um, I'm in the my family uh, made the playoffs there, and then Eric Madrid's. I'm in the playoffs there, and the fifth Who, one that I'm in. Who's that, Eric Madrid? Yeah, no, you listen to me, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, Jackie still. Jackie sent me a message. By the way, new Patreon. So Sage Hills Golf Court. Our golf course and RV resort. Please go check them out. Still, we love them and we appreciate everything they've done for the podcast. Um, but Jackie Van Hoof jumped on, so I said I reached out, said thank you very much for being a part of uh, you know the Patreons, and she goes, yeah, and listen to the episode. It was great, and I'm sorry, I still don't know who Eric Madrid is. <laughs> I think that made a lot of people happy when they when they heard that. We love Eric. I love Eric, but uh, there's some people out there that are probably like that was entertaining. Did you have good? Did you <laughs> did, do you know who Eric Madrid is? Yes. Did you ever have any like basketball, b- baseball, anything with interaction with him really at all? A uh, little bit outside. I don't <clears throat> work. You work at Safeway. Yeah. together, but that was it. Uh, I think we. I think outside of Safeway, there wasn't a lot of hanging out. Um, I think we hung out a couple times when at another fellow coworker, uh, Brandon. But at, at, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah. But yeah, I, I think at his house we hung out a couple times. Um, but yeah, not not a whole lot of dealing with him. But yeah. I, I liked him. Yeah. I yeah, he's a good dude. Love love Eric. Appreciate the guy. He's he's a great dude, but yeah, it was hilarious that Jackie was like, "I don't even know who you're talking about." Right now. <laughs> but also, there was a point where Jackie didn't know what anything we were talking about at some points. Uh, that was awesome. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, so so the playoffs are set there. So I'm almost. So I have one game. This is the there's it, this. Is, I'm in a sixteen uh, team league, and. I have one of the I'm the one of the most highest I probably the highest points uh the highest points I think pretty darn close. So it is like broken out like like normally if you had sixteen, you'd probably take the top four, maybe top six. I would never play on a team with sixteen. Dude, it's it's so this is but it's broken up into four. I'm the I'm in the West. This is my record. Nine and five. I'm in second place. The other person is nine and five. The the, uh, the guy in third place, nine and five. And the guy in fourth place, eight and six. Now, the guy above me has got 1,400, 1,430 points scored. I have 1,411 points scored. Every The people in the other league, that that's like football. Where you see some seven and well, I think the Seahawks made it, or the Sa- Seahawks versus the Saints made it, uh, or maybe the Saints made NFC it. South this year. Yeah, it's just like, dude, that sucks. You want the best of the best playing each other? I would be so mad if I'm in this, some of these other leagues. Some of these other leagues, like the top person is, yeah, eight and six, eight and six. It's like we're stacked on this side and. Yeah, it just pisses me off. So I may not, I may blank that one. I may not be able to go. It might be my last year with that one too. I can, I always seem to do very well, and I can still somehow never make the playoffs. So, um, so we probably bored everyone about. Uh, that was a lot of football talk about football. But hey, this is where it heats up. Have we talked about uh, Thanksgiving yet? Was that? Did we record after Thanksgiving? Yeah, we. I believe once. What are you doing for Chris? Oh. Oh yeah, this is the thing that I look forward to every year. <laughs> How's your Waffle Fest 2023? Is it's, it It's coming along. Is it uh is it still scheduled is it the 23rd or 24th? It's usually Christmas yeah, Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve. And then um is it like midday or or the morning? 9:30 to whenever. We have it open all day long. And so to, okay, so people can just kind of just drop by whenever and yep. just show up and just yep. be a part of it. And yep. 
I'll, as long as you're invited. As long as you're invited. And uh, I'm going to cut that last part. It's easy to say that. <laughs> and I'm going to take out the as long. <laughs> and then it's going to have you say, you're invited. Yeah. So I appreciate that. You, you don't like making edits, though. <clears throat> I'm going to make edits this Just time. Just Kenny, not invited. Let's <laughs> cut. <laughs> Just Kenny, not invited. <clears throat> um, no, I'm not. I wouldn't even go at this point. It would be too embarrassing for me. I would show up because it would be like, yeah, I know. I got the pity. I got the pity invite. Plus, what are we going to talk about if you actually show up? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he here? <laughs> no, no. I don't mean there. I mean after the fact. Oh yeah. When we come on and talk about how awesome yeah, it is. Yeah, that's true. What if you're already there, what's the point? I like the streak. <laughs> what would be an absolute asshole move though is if cuz I'll probably logged in a DoorDash cuz I have the day off that you would DoorDash more syrup and more like powdered sugar That'd to be awesome. and then I'd have to go get it then bring it, open the door. Here you go. See all the party and all the fun going on in the background and then you're like, "Thanks." And then you just shut the door. And then I get in my car. That would be a jerk move. But, but not unlike what I thought about doing <laughs> and inviting you, but a secret <clears throat> inside joke with everybody that's there. Yeah. Not to talk to you. Just to see how long oh, you just to dude. see how long you'd stay. Oh, <laughs> dude, that would be so good. I thought it was gonna be a yeah, it's gonna be at uh we we rented out the uh I wouldn't make you go somewhere. That that's that's cruel. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's what you would do. You'd rent out like the VFW hall for yourself. And you'd be like, yeah, it's my house. Come on by. And then you'd see me and you'd probably have a ring set up. Then you'd see me just like, hey, uh, anyone there? And then video it and, and show then, it. And then show and then everyone. Share it on the full buddy site. That's a good one too. Yeah. By the way, shout out <laughs> to Homer who's talking some trash, dude. This is, I, I want to give you a full. I answered him. No, no, I'm, I'm giving you right now one. Take as much time as you want. I don't need time. Okay. Are the Eagles and the Niners going to meet in the playoffs again? I believe so. And what are the Eagles going to do to the San Francisco 49ers? Depends on where they play. I 100% think so. Eagles end up with the one seed, which means they went out, which is very doable with the schedule. Mm Mm-hmm. And San Francisco only has to lose one more game, mm-hmm. then the Eagles will destroy San Francisco in Philly. in Philly. Even though they just lost there, right? They're not losing two in a row. To, no. If they have to go to San Francisco, they only win by three, and it's a good game. So, what's your prediction that's going to happen? Like me, like do you- I honestly think the Eagles end up with the one seed. I think San Francisco does stumble one more game. That's all it takes is one game. I think they win all the rest of their games but one, and Eagles end up with the one seed. But you're going to lose this Monday, so then, then, then what? I highly doubt they lose this Monday. Okay, so we like to bet. Okay, but I think they're favored. Let's see what they're favored by. Do you Six, know what- or it was. It's at home. Do you think maybe are, maybe it's down? I don't remember. Are you taking, I thought it was six? Are you taking the over or the under? I don't know what it is. Let's t- let's find out. I'll tell you what I think the score is going to be, and we'll see. I think it's going to be like twenty-eight to seventeen. It's three and a half. I'll take. I'll give three and a half to anybody. I'll give you three and a half. No, that's. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> I, I, I don't want that at all. I want. I want a seven and a half. <laughs> yeah. Will you, uh, will you give me? What's seven? the what's the over under? Forty-seven and a half. What's twenty-eight seventeen? 35. Oh, uh, 45. And it's the overs what? 47 and a half. Whew, that's close. I think it's going to be a 28-17 game. So 28-17, Seahawks over the Eagles. You heard it here first from Craig. Yes, I'm fine with that. I'll make that prediction. Seahawks over the Eagles, 28-17? Oh, no. Eagles over Seahawks. Okay. Uh, are you going to take the under? And you take, You're taking the points in the under sounds like that's a that's a pretty low with the points though 28 uh... no i'm not taking the under i think it'll be over i think it's you know what i just in my head now i think about it i see another defensive score touchdown maybe a pick six i'm gonna go 35 17 (laughs) 
So 35-17 is now my prediction. <coughs> I got a headache from that cough, but 35-17. Anybody know if Gino's starting? Is it going to be Drew Locke again? I don't know. I don't know. that. I mean, I'm assuming, I am assuming that Kenneth Walker is starting as well as Gino if the points are three and a half. I would think so. They'd have to be. I, I don't think. What's the. If, I'm trying to think. If there's an over or an under on Kenneth Walker's yards, I would take the under. I do not think they're going to run the ball at all against the Eagles. You don't think so? No. I think DK might end up with 175 yards. Is your defense that bad for passing? Yes, especially over the middle. Actually, I'll take that back. Lockett may end up with 175 yards. Yeah, that's true. Because the linebackers yeah. right now, Eagles linebackers are garbage. Exposed. They're Yeah, it's bad. Kittle. Pit, Kittle got, got a TD, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't mean necessarily... But Debo, it's, Debo killed them. But how, Debo killed them in the middle of the field. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely killed. That's why I say Lockett. I don't think even that, McCaffrey. I mean, he didn't. What did he get? Sixty something yards yeah. or seventy yards? Even Lamb last week was a lot of. Uh, they weren't deep shots. They were a lot over the middle shots. That's where they're getting beat really bad over the middle. Dude, forty two nineteen. Yeah, that's so. That's such a beat down. Yeah, no, it, it looked bad too. I mean, they just look so tired. Yeah, McCaffrey got 93 yards. But Debo got 22 rushing. Elijah Mitchell, man, they ran all over you guys. They threw all over you guys, they did. too. Dallas threw all over us also. 340. So so, the, so what you're saying is after playing the Niners and the Cowboys, a, a Seahawks beatdown is a good pick-me-up is what you're saying. I think that's – I'm hoping that's what it's going to be. And they were on the road in all those games? No, they were at home against San Francisco. Oh, that's right. They were on the road against Dallas because they already beat Dallas at home. Dude, what a rough. We talked too much football. Too much football. Yeah. Too much football. But let's say. Now we're going to talk. Th- this is girls talk. Okay. Okay. This is gift gifts to get a man. So we're coming into Christmas a little bit. Okay. Gifts to get a man. Like a single man or no, no, like no, no. married? I, I, no, married. Husband, okay. husband boyfriend. Been uh, when together you say for a while. To get a man, I'm thinking like it's a single woman <clears throat> trying to get a man. No, 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 no. To give. Sorry. To give okay. a man. All right. I got you. Okay. I'm following. So, what are some sneaky good gifts that you think a typical man would want? And I'm going to, and I'm going to, I'm going to say, you go yay or nay on them. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw some of these out. Okay. So I'm gonna. Do I say yay or nay based on a typical man or myself? What you think? You think think of your friend group in your brain right now. Okay. And rank it. Eight out of the ten friends would be cool with it, or nine out of ten, or one out of ten. Okay. Okay. I got you. Okay. Tools. A yes. tool set. Yes. Rank it. Ten friends. Seven. Seven out of ten. Uh, golf, anything golf. That's probably more like a four because okay. not every single guy golfs. Right. So it's a good gift. If that person particular is a golfer, a Jersey of their favorite player. I'd probably say six, a hat of their favorite team. Um, I'm going to go eight guys like hats. Guys do like hats. <laughs> yeah. Agree. Yeah. Uh, agree. Uh, cologne. Ah, uh, man, that's a tough one. Maybe half, half, five, eight, six. I don't wear cologne, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, a manscaper. I don't know. That'd be a weird Christmas gift. But. I mean, what, like, what's your girl telling you? Let's like, go listen. four. Yeah, let's go four. Uh, t-shirts and socks. T-shot, t-shirts, underwear, and socks. Oh, I'm going like seven or eight. Yeah. 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 I'm, as Those I've gotten ones. older, I'm like, yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, a gift card to, uh, rather than tools, a gift card to buy tools. Like a gift card to Lowe's or Home Depot. Perfect. I'm going to go eight. Okay. Um, a, 
I, I'm just trying to think of some other things. I think we've pretty much covered. Is there anything that you can think of that? No, but I think depending on, you know, if, if you're married yeah. and you're looking for something, I mean, there's always that, hey, and I don't know if you guys do this or not, but we do it. It's like you get so much during the year yeah, whenever right you here. want yeah. that it's really not like, <clears throat> it's not like, oh, we need to get a gift here for a gift for each other. It's almost like I'd rather just save some money and go do something else during the year. Yeah. Like gifts don't really matter for Christmas as much. As much. Unless it's practical. I like a good practical gift. Sure. Like for me, uh, my, uh, I actually will just tell them, hey, I need this. You know, and it's like $20. We have a $15, $20 thing. If you want to get me something, get me this. It's cheap and I'll, t- I'll use it. But do you tell your kids that or you tell your wife that? Kids that. So, so that kids, that's a good, that's yeah. a good thing. I'm talking more like for a wife. So it's, I'd rather be like, Hey, well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to a baseball game during the year, and let's save some money, and we'll that's pay for fun. tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun. You know, something like that. So Jamie and I gave each other um, the golf pass for the the year golf pass, and that was bought back in September. And so, um, yeah, we're pretty feeling pretty good about that. So we're not getting each other anything. So we get a we get a golf whatever we want at the Enoqua Golf Course. Uh, Chris Thornton, shout out to him. He was like, "Hey, you should get the golf course to, to uh, you know, give away some things for your podcast here and there." And so, if anyone from the golf course is listening and would like to do that, I'm all ears. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Give out, give out, just like a random. You know what we could do? We could host on the putting green. We could. We, oh yeah, yes. <laughs> we well, do live at live the putting green. At the putting green, or I was thinking like, or on the ninth hole at nine. That's yeah, very good. Adam said the Happy Gilmore, very good. I like that. That's I'm a, talking about nine a.m. though, so it's not gonna be dark. Not too dark. <laughs> but I was thinking like maybe we it would be a golf trip with like maybe you, me, and Seth, and then the third person Ooh, is. Thank is you for the reminder. Why? Because I'm supposed to let Seth know if I'm gonna golf tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I totally forgot. So you just brought that up. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. What's the weather supposed to be like? It's supposed to be pretty nice. I, I know we're, we're not kind, rainy. We're kind of in April. I always think of myself like I'm like, oh, it's 58. Like, I'd be dying for this weather in April, uh, but right now it's still like, oh, it's kind of cold. Like, yeah. I'm, 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 we're heading into the cold season, and I'm still cold. So it's like, th- but this would be a completely different conversation if this was like March right now. I'd be like, dude, yeah, let's get the shirts out or the shorts out and the <laughs> tank, the tanks. Uh, okay, so now let's talk about girl girl gifts that you think are, if you can get your girl something. Okay. Rank them again like we just did? Rank them again like we just did. All right. That you th- and think of all the wives of the friend groups now. Yep. We don't know them as well, but we're going to give a guess. Okay. Okay. Uh, a, a, a nice necklace. Four. Okay. Uh, gardening utensils. Two. Uh, house cleaning utensils. Three. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you trying to come up with lower gifts? Or yeah, it's kind of. No. Uh, a free oil change. No. Um, uh, a nice sweater or, you know, outfit. I go with like a seven. Okay. Scarf. Uh Six, uh, a gift like a like a hundred and fifty dollar gift card to like Nordstrom. Probably an eight or nine. Okay, okay. Um, a, a manscape. Probably higher than I said for the guys. Really, you think the girls would be all for it? A <laughs> <laughs> his and hers. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a, a gift card. A oh, I thought I, I assumed by saying that that you were it, doing it for yourself. That yeah, we had, no that you tie a bow on yourself. No, like, this what, is what, what I is. assumed by it meant they weren't getting it for themselves. They were yes, they were getting the gift, and yes. then they were going to turn around and use it, use it on the guy. Like that, dude. I'd be <laughs> interested to see how that would go. I would be so scared to have someone. <laughs> Do anything around there that I'm just gonna I'm gonna get nicked and a ball's gonna fall out. <laughs> um, gosh, I had I had an idea. Oh, a hundred dollar gift card to like Lovers package or something like that. Uh, four. 
some of those girls would be into it. Like, thanks. This I'm just, that's half. I mean, I'm just kind of throwing it out. Yeah. Maybe. This is that part I don't know. I don't know. Um, a practical gift. Something that they could use for their cell phone, maybe, uh, or a or reading, maybe a maybe a light, or perhaps. I would go with eight or nine. Yeah, nice, nice for nice, uh, warm, fuzzy socks. Five. Nice. But have I given you any ideas? I don't get gifts. I just told you that. Well, I just didn't know. But if you were to give a gift, sure, you get a blow dryer. Oh, I did not think you were safe dryer <laughs> for. A moment there. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, a coupon book. A chore coupon book. I've actually did that before. And is it did it go over well? It did. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it pr- actually, it would probably go over well now, even if I did it again. Now, to get your mother or father something, do you go practical for dad and something heartwarming for mom? Or what, what do you It do? varies. Um, more practical all the time for dad. Sometimes with mom's practical also. Yeah. Uh, but we have had times where, because we do uh, family pictures all the time also. So both sets of parents get pictures of the kids. Okay. Which they that's pr- that's practical for them. They look forward to that every year yes. to get pictures and that kind of stuff. So I consider that practical, even though it's heartwarming also. So let's say they hate those pictures. But let's say the first year they got them, they made a big deal about it because they're like, you know what? They're thinking about us. It's really cool. But then they oversold it. So then the next year they get it. They go, oh, okay. This has become a thing now. Darn it. We went too hard on it. And then third year, okay, we got them again. And then now it's like a point where it's like, listen, we're, we live in the freaking 21st century or 22nd. I don't even know what century we're in. But like, we, we like, I could FaceTime and see your kids at any moment. I don't have, it's like, this is it. I'm not going to be staring at these Bo- pictures. Both, both sets of our parents <clears throat> still have ridiculous amounts of pictures on the wall, on the wall yeah. and they're keeping on, Walgreens uh, yes, alive. There's, yes, exactly. So I'm, I'm personally, I know I'm okay doing that. Yeah. Dude, Walgreens is such a great idea. I mean, they were like, Hey, I know these old people are coming here for their prescriptions anyways, but they could probably go to like maybe the Safeway pharmacy or maybe another pharmacy, right? Aid. Oh, I know. We'll put a, a photo developing place where they can pick those up too, and we're going to draw the entire crowd. Yeah, and it's crazy how fast they get stuff done. Yes, you like put it in, and it's literally it's like, can pick up. See you in an hour. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I remember dropping those things off for weeks and just coming back and being like, I mean, what, "What was your guys' tradition with that?" My mom and my mom would gather them all, drop them all off, so they'd be like three or four. Uh, roles to develop, and then we'd go sit in the car once we get it at, at this at Safeway. We just go through, and she'd always get doubles. She'd yes, always, doubles, doubles was the way they yeah. went. Yep, same thing. Yep, same thing. Did you guys wait to get home to to, to reveal it, or was it like uh, maybe both? Yeah, and then you then you'd always keep the uh, the exposures or whatever the you know the little they'd pay for that too. Yeah, in case they ever wanted to get more, which they never did. <laughs> no, <laughs> never. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I what I really want to do? I don't know if maybe you know somebody that does this. We have a lot of VHS stuff from my you know from my childhood to put onto a DVD. Yeah, I actually have a one. You have one that it was made, or you have no? I have the thing to do it. The thing to do it. I can let you borrow it. Really? You just got to do it yourself, and then just go to yeah. Okay. Well, it's pretty simple. You put the cassette in. Yeah, you get the writable. DVDs. Okay. It goes in the other slot. And basically, you go in and name a chapter. You know how DVDs have yes, chapters? Yes. Basically, a chapter is the video. And I think that uh, I did a lot of the ones because we had smaller cassettes, yeah. like the half hour long ones. I've got the big, big dogs. So, either way, I think like a chapter is a half hour, an hour, and you figure out what you want to put on what DVD. Like I did by years and that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. So yeah, I can look into letting you borrow that. Awesome. Thank you, dude. You're the best. You don't even have to invite me to the waffle thing anymore. Perfect. Well, you can pick it up that day. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's it. That's all. I, that would be the thing. It would be a prank on everyone else. So where I show up, you don't tell them. I go in. Like, hey, guys. And they're like, dude, are you serious? Like, to you. Like, come on. Oh, they probably say it to you. And to me. <laughs> and then 
And then you just hand me the DVD thing, and I'm like, have a good time, guys. And then I made that party ten times better because they thought it was going down. And then they realized, wait a second, he's leaving. That's true. Parties got way better. We'll think about that. Yeah. We'll get back to think, you. Think. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not, I might do that for my, my my parents don't listen to this, so that's going to be their Christmas gift. It's going to be... It, it takes a while. <clears throat> like, what, eight hours? Um, I mean, I work from home, so I could probably just plug it in and let that thing go do, do its thing, but... We also... There's some... I'll, I'll talk to you off air, but there's some effort to put into it. That, like, like what? Like a stationary bike that well, I got Well, not necessarily, but I'm talking about like you wanting to make sure this video is on this DVD. Like I cut and splice different things. Okay. So like my Christmas of 94 may not have been on the same cassette as Christmas of 95. Yeah. But I wanted the Christmases to be together. Okay. So then you're putting stuff in and out. You know what I mean? I'm good at that. That kind of stuff. Um. Okay. So then what? And then... How easy is it to put the DVD and just and then put it into digital? It's got to be super easy, right? You're just downloading. No, it's just literally a transfer. It literally copies it to it. It to it. But but then and then you, you can take that DVD and go put it in and, and then just yeah, it plays. But but then I can also put it in my computer to also because I, I could download the files. Oh, you mean the video like to have a video file? Yeah, yeah. I would assume so. I haven't did that. Mine are still on DVDs. I I'm going to look I'll research that portion of it. I'm sure you can do that. You should be able to cuz I don't there's no copyright on a DVD that you make. Right. So you should be able to download it anywhere you want. I would assume. I don't I don't know that cuz mine are still my cassettes are gone. I still have DVDs. Yeah. Did you make two copies like your parents used to do the two photos? Nope. I took <laughs> I took it. I put the DVD in to make sure, and I crushed the tape. Like, nope. <laughs> what? what? I, I didn't. I'm just kidding. Okay. I thought it was like, was there snuff videos on this thing? <laughs> no. No, I, I just mean like you, you have that like you're throwing away like old memorabilia. Yeah. So I like watched the DVD like two or three times to make sure that I copied it over. Perfect. So I wasn't throwing something away that like yes. throwing yeah. childhood away. Yeah. I would probably still keep them, but are you? You're not a hoarder. No, not at all. Is 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 uh, is is uh, I keep wanting to call her Kelly. She's Carrie. Like, Carrie. She no, she me. absolutely hates it. That you throw away stuff. No, no. Oh, she she hates hoarding. Yes, as well. So you guys are you guys see eye to eye oh, on that. Oh, hundred percent. Like if if we ever <laughs> our Sid, our younger daughter, yeah, she'll keep stuff that is. Maybe sentimental to her, but then it starts adding up. And it's like, why are you keeping this stuff? Yeah, like she is borderline hoarder, and Carrie hates it. Her room. She walks in. Why are we keeping this stuff? Like she's she has some shirts that she remembers wearing from I don't know. Let's just say elementary school that obviously don't fit anymore. But she liked the shirt. Yes, she keeps that stuff. Yeah. So so let's say so once the kids move out, kids aren't moved out yet. Kenzie is. She's been Kenzie, moved out for a while. But the other one, yeah, Sid's, Sid's still, home. still there. Are you guys, are you guys minimalists at heart? Would you guys at that point sell and get a smaller home, or are you guys? No, I think our homes. I mean, it's not large anyway. I don't have a True, huge house. I mean, yeah. So I think ours is small enough now that it will probably stay. And then, do you guys have a retirement plan that you'd like to move to a different state, or would it be to right where- now? No, because. My entire family and Carrie's entire family, which is twice my size, are all here. Yeah, same thing. So yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, it's and then you you think of all the friends you're gonna leave. Like I, I would lo- honestly, I would, I would love to move. I had a dream I moved, and then I was like, wait a second, I'm not gonna see my parents. What wait, what about the podcast? Wait, I'm not gonna golf with my friends. Eh, that sucks. And I woke up and I was like, all right, cool. I'm glad I didn't move, but I really want to move. Yeah, no, this, this state without getting into it, does suck to be in. Yeah. But I love being here. So It's a beautiful state. Yeah. It is definitely a beautiful state. All right. Well, let's do shout outs. I don't think uh, your broski's showing up to this. Good. Ever. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you weren't here. Yeah. Even though you're probably not going to listen to this. No, he won't. Gosh <laughs> darn it. Um, Get their active members. Go pull that up. You got any shout outs? I'll do two shout outs today. Let's hear it. 
A preemptive shout out to Jamie again. Yes. I shouted him out last time. Great dude. I think uh, Monday's going to be good. We'll take some pictures of you and your Seahawks gear and maybe video after you're crying when they lose. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also give a shout out to Seth Loop. Yeah. Which, by the way, I listened to that episode. Did you like it? It was good. I actually walked over. I listened to it at work while I was working. Yeah. And I actually walked around over to where he was at and went and told him. I just got done listening to it. I thought it was a good episode. So he, it was pretty cool talking to him right at, right literally two seconds after I got done listening. I went over oh, and talked well, to you, him. You, and so this is, this is his, those are his notes right there. Oh, I had no, I had no idea yeah. that, or I guess I didn't, when Joey said, hey, he's got notes, you said he had notes. Yeah. I'm like, well, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's who he is. So I'll give him a shout out, not only because of that episode, yeah. but fantasy football. Oh, no, shut up. He is one of those guys, second year playing. Yeah. He only I think he does it a little bit more to hang out with the guys. For sure. Doesn't didn't really care about fantasy football. I think he got into it a little more this year. Yeah. Finished in second place. Oh. No. Gets a first round bye. Yes. He's he's doing good. He's doing good. Congratulations, Seth. Crushing it. I'm you know what? It warms my heart that you leapfrogged me and got that spot. <laughs> It warms my heart. I'm happy that happened for you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, my my shout out is to, um, it was it, that Morgandy saying, uh, "No way." There's been a few times in my life where it's like people are excited to see me, and it, it's nice. Few, very few, not many, but. That one was count on one hand. I can count on one hand for sure. Maybe even just one finger. But but there was a couple times where I was in, in, in school, you didn't know at the time who was gonna be in your class. And then not everyone. And so I remember I remember the bus got there late and I came in and one kid was like, Travis, you're in my class. Yes. And I was in third grade. And I was like, that felt so good. You're already kind of nervous. You don't, you know, you got your clothes picked out and I got my Nintendo Power shirt on. I was feeling kind of cool with that. And but I'm also nervous and you know, nervous about the teacher. Is the teacher gonna be nice or mean? And who am I gonna sit next to? But but that was very nice. But then to hear Morgany. So shout out Morgany and sh- and shout out for, for her work with Sage Hills as well as Jamie's. And then um my wife actually just delivered two days ago DoorDash to <coughs> pardon me, to uh to um their their old house that that Morgany's parents are in, which is very cool. Because we ran into them. Another shout out, Dan uh, Coot Snyder. Uh, he's got the uh, he's got the food truck, but he's also had the had the ice cream truck anyway earlier in the summer. And we went there, met him there, and saw all the kids, all the family of uh, you know uh, Jamie and Morgany out there buying ice cream. So. Uh, anyway, she she delivered there and she had small talk there. So everywhere we run into, it's it, it's like the six degrees of Jamie Roberts, um, and and also shout out to Dan and the O Chef Country Kitchen, which you can get uh, at DoorDash, and hopefully I can bring it to you um, as well. All right, let's hit up the Patreons and please go to full or patreon.com if you listen to this and you like this and you want to subscribe. Five dollars a month if you'd like. It's easy to set it up. It makes all the difference in the world in my heart. Craig and Corey get zero benefit from it. Um, except that it it gives them an, another one more week to try to ruin the show. That's it. So that that's the benefit that they get. They get one more attempt every week. Except Corey failed this week. Corey tried. Corey's tried a new tactic. No, just he's could, not. He failed. No, no. His tactic is just not show up and not tell anyone and not reply to anything. Well, that's easy. I could do that. Maybe next time I'll do that. You never thought about that, right? Well, no, because nobody would ever know we didn't. It just wouldn't air. <laughs> that's what if it was just me we got craig here just kidding he's not and we got Corey here just kidding he's not uh kellen hall i'm gonna shout out some things that people are a part of as well it's my christmas gift to them so kellen hall uh go to the facebook page cattle and cut flowers flower farm and photography a lot of c's 
a lot of F's and a PH that sounds like an F. But they do weddings, it looks like. Photography there. They can cut. You can cut flowers. Um, it's a year-round thing. Saw him at Safeway the other day. So shout out to him. Holly Graff. Go hit her up. Unwind with Holly. She sells uh, wine that is like a pure wine. Scout and seller. Um, please hit her up as well. And Even, coffee. And coffee now as well. Adam Kenny Art. That's my brother. Adam Kenny, adamkennyart.com. Uh, go follow him on Instagram and Facebook. You can see some pretty cool uh, things. You can purchase some things as well, uh, some paintings or some prints or some cards uh, You know, with, uh, with him. Seth Loop, just a great dude, and, and become his friend, and maybe you can golf on Friday mornings with him. Cassie Spencer, a uh, great person as well, been a, been a longtime listener, longtime supporter. Um, I think she's still in the area with Starbucks. Don't quote me on that, but shout out to her. Amanda Keating. Amanda still hilarious, fun. Um, that video I still haven't posted yet of, of the frozen shirt. <coughs> love Amanda. Shekinah Sarver. She will never listen to this, so I'm going to skip that one. Jared Skelly, but I love Shekinah. Jared Skelly. Uh, Scary Skelly is what happened. Kind of fell off. How's he doing in the fantasy realm? Uh, he'll be in the ass bowl. Ooh, that's why. That's why he's trying to stay off everyone's radar. Well, you know what I think happened? We decided that, you know, rightfully so, we didn't do fantasy this year. Yes. So he didn't know what to do opposite to do. of. Yeah. So he's lost. So he didn't know what's going on. So you tanked his season for him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Good job. Uh, Homer Robertson. <clears throat> Shots of Homer. See him. Uh, well, I don't know if I can tell where he works. but No, he's he's, he's shared it. It's a casino. It's security. Michael Shoot Casino. Say what up to him. He's been talking a lot of crap to... You want to see anything? Um, no, I'm good. I like it. Bring it on. We'll, yeah. we'll, let, the, we'll let play dictate. Uh, ben Illman uh, and Habitat for Humanity. He, uh, he's he been involved in that. Uh, I donate there. He donates here. Jamie Roberts, the man, the myth, the legend. We talked about him a ton. Uh, shout out to him. Jamie Kenny, dashing Jamie Kenny. She, she door dashes as well, so she wants to be a part of that. Apollo Doodle, a, a puppy, a dog, um, but in relation to Cole Street Brewery, and we love uh, we love them. Jackson Sidehook should get better with his finances and not donate here, but we uh, or, or be a patron here. But I appreciate it, and I, hopefully it helps him. I think Corey did mention that you know he's working and he listens to us and he and he hates half the things that we say and he loves the other half. Um, there was something he really hated. I think it was that we haven't talked about the shift. The shift. <laughs> but we're going to bring it up next episode. <laughs> Sasha Carey Lynn at Edison City Alehouse. Um, appreciate her and her support. Go see them in Tacoma. Thomas Savage He owns half of Enum Claw, but you can support him um, at Runlands, The Kettle, Bordeaux Wine Bar. Uh, I think he's a part of Casting Iron as well. Maybe a feature bowling alley. Made yeah, we need him for the for the for the uh, bowling alley. Anthony Wright, Councilman Anthony Wright. I delivered to him the other day. He gave me five stars and a tip. Shout out to him. He's great as well. Appreciate him. Uh, Cameron Stratton, real estate agent in Enumclaw. Got my nice tree in my living room from him. Uh, thank you very much, him and Ben Craighead. But thank you, Cameron, for your support. Uh, if you need any home needs, please go see him. Katri Hoban. Great member for seven months, uh, VIP fullest full buddy, just a really uh, uh, great person. Appreciate her uh, and her support. Run into her as well. Um, Homer the vet. I talked to Homer. He goes, "Hey, quit shouting out me out twice. Shout out my YouTube channel, Homer the Vet, um, as well as Homer the Vet on Instagram and Homer the Vet on TikTok as well." And Jackie Van Hoof. Newest member of the Patreon list. Uh, this is the way we live. Instagram and TikTok, mostly TikTok. Thirty billion people follow them and love all their stuff. So is it's that great a lot? To have her. Yeah, it's a ton. Have you seen that yet? No. I'll show you. I don't have TikTok. I'll show you. And I'm big fat farts, like thirty three or something, thirty six, twenty five. I don't know something like that on TikTok. I don't post anything. I don't know much about TikTok. Um, but I'm on there just so I can kind of follow people. 
Thanks so much for listening. Have a happy holidays. If we don't talk to you before, then I think we will. We'll try. We'll see. We gotta get. We gotta figure out our schedules. But uh, go Monday night football. Seahawks. What's our bet, by the way? What, you never. You never made okay, a bet. What points are you giving me? I'll give you three and a half. I don't want three and a half. I want five and a half. For how much? I'll go twenty dollars. And I give you five and a half. Give me five and a half. Done. Okay. Uh, another twenty for over under. I will give you first pick of nah, forty seven. I'm not going to do over and under. Okay. Twenty bucks. I uh, and I kind of I want what I really want you to do. I want you to to do the exact. Just got a text from your brother who's. <laughs> I don't even almost no, done. I don't even yes. I don't even want to know what it says. We are done. Craig is done with you. Oh, I guess I am included in that. <laughs> oh, wait. I got another one. Got another text message here. From him? No. Seth. Ha! Ah, hadn't answered him yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so we'll go 20 bucks, and then uh, I want you to go to Vegas. Or not Vegas. I want you to go to the Michael Shoot. I want you to go pick your exact score. You said it was going to be at first 28-17, bumped to 35-17. I want you to put ten dollars on that. I want you to get the exact win. That pays out about that. Big. big. Hey, last Saturday I went there. Yeah. Last Saturday morning. Go with the bud. Me and Trav Corey. Yes. And thou should not be named. Yes. That was actually pretty cool. And then I was thinking about going there this Saturday on my way to practice again. And do so the same we'll see. thing. We'll Did see. you win a little bit? No, I was. <coughs> I did a couple. You fe- got the cough. I did it. Yes. <laughs> I did a couple future bets, so I didn't know. But every NFL game. Because I did some decent parlays. Yeah. Uh, no. No. Did not. Uh, did you get close? One of them, I was pretty dang close. Parlays are so much fun. I know. It was pretty cool. Um, I will say I did not lose as much money as the other two. Yes. So I'm okay That's with that. <laughs> By the way, you know that you have futures on my shelf, right? From, For... from last year that I have Jalen Hurts being the MVP, stuff like that. Yes. Eagles going to the Super Bowl, winning the Super Bowl and all that. So... You've got money. You got chances out there. So, all right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great week. Go Seahawks. Fly, Eagles, fly.